Hello and welcome to this session of CCNP Encore series. In today's session, we will discuss about another access distribution design type, that is layer 3 access layer, which is based on, based on routed access. So what is routed access? A routed access is a design where layer 3 functionality is extended all the way to the access layer switch. What does that mean? Here the access layer switches act as full layer 3 switches capable of both layer 2 and layer 3 functionalities. And if you look at the design, the uplinks to the distribution layer and between the distribution switches are layer 3 point to point routed links instead of layer 2 trunks. In other words, I would say the boundary between the layer 2 and layer 3 is moved from the distribution layer to the access layer. This fundamental change, uh, this fundamentally actually changes how traffic flows and is managed in your network. Let's look at some of the benefits of the routed access design. Routed access offers several significant advantages over traditional layer 2 access layer design, such as there is no FHRPs or FHRP protocols like uh, HSRP or uh, VRRP are not required because the access switches themselves act as default gateways here. Another advantage is, uh, an advantage is no STP, no spanning tree protocol required. Since there are no layer 2 loops, so STP is completely eliminated. And then uh, another advantage is it will increase your uh, uplink utilization. Both uplinks between access and distribution layer are fully utilized because since you are using layer 3 links, there is no blocking link. So both the link will be used. This boosts effective bandwidth for connected devices. Then you have uh, less troubleshooting because routed access allows you to use common layer 3 troubleshooting tools like ping and trace route which will make your troubleshooting easier. I would not say less troubleshooting, I would say easier troubleshooting. Yeah. And then faster convergence. Since we are using routing protocols like OSPF, EIGRP, which provides uh, rapid convergence in the event of failure and uh, they will ensure minimal downtime. Those are the benefits. Let's look at some of the limitations. I mean like routed access has many benefits but it's not without, it doesn't come without some limitation. Uh, since there is no spanning VLANs across multiple access switches, uh, the flexibility is limited. Just like layer, I mean, a loop, uh, if you remember, we discussed about loop free layer to design, right? That approach does not allow VLANs to span across multiple switches and limited flexibility. Similarly, you will face the same problem here. Another important thing you need to take a note of is higher cost. Layer 3 capable switches definitely will cost more than layer 2 switches, which can impact your budget, especially for uh, if you have a long, I mean, larger deployment. If you have a small network, you will not face that much challenge. But if you have a large deployment, then definitely the cost will bug you. So those trade-offs means that routed access may not be the best fit for every environment. So when to use routed access? Like when should you consider using routed access? I would say in some scenarios like uh, where you where you need, I mean where your bandwidth requirement is, I mean uh, you are expecting higher bandwidth environment where you need to maximize your uplink utilization. Or if your team prefers uh, using layer three tools for diagnostic, like for simple troubleshooting or for rapid convergence requirements like for networks where downtime must be minimized. However, if you need your VLANs that span across multiple switches or have strict budget constraints, I would recommend a traditional layer to access layer might be a better choice. 
to summarize this session i would say routed access moves the layer two or three boundaries to the access layer making access switches full layer three nodes it eliminates the need for stp and fhrps and increases uplink utilization and simplifies troubleshooting uses routing protocols like ospf and eigrp which ensures faster convergence but it doesn't support uh, spanning your vlan across multiple switches and last but not least it may require high higher cost layer 3 switches so the choice of whether to use routed access or layer 2 access depends on your network requirement and constraints that's it for this session in my next session i will discuss about simplified campus design which is based on uh, switch clustering technologies that's it for this session i hope this was informative for you thank you for watching thank you for watching please do like comment share and subscribe and also please do not forget to check out my courses on udemy i'll be sharing the link in the description below thank you for watching